Hi guys. Hi guys. Thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. And this is basically part three of the bad breath video. I did a video on 10 reasons why you could be having bad breath. And also I did one on seven herbs that could help um, with bad breath. And in this video, I am looking at some ways in which you could help to um, alleviate the problem. And the first thing I would say is um, brush more, brush, brush the teeth more. And not just the teeth, but brush the tongue, brush the tongue also. You could get a toothbrush that is specifically for um the tongue um these with this type of head um i just use it in general anyway but your regular toothbrush should be able to to work to some degree and um you could also get a tongue scraper you could also use a spoon to you know scrape the tongue and um not a tablespoon just a teaspoon because you want a small spoon that you could use to help to you know um move, remove some of that bacteria that might be um living on the tongue so that's the first thing um you could do the second thing i would say is floss if you haven't been flossing start to floss because you want to get the the food out of your teeth any any particles of food that um could possibly possibly be um between the teeth could create a problem and you can buy the floss um you know at the supermarket um any pharmacy or um try to get the unwaxed ones and you could also use just regular threads um yeah just use regular threads and of course you just use it to floss just move it in between the areas the gaps um between um the teeth and just to get out any particles that might be there and the third thing that you could do is make gargle gargle the mouth you know because the floss will get rid of of course what's in between the the teeth but there could be smaller particles there also and not only that when you use the um the gargle especially if you're using um herbal oils such as essential oils um, such as eucalyptus oil sage oil all these oils they have you know um, antimicrobial properties that will also help to um, you know um, kill um, any um, bacteria that might be living um, in the mouth let me say not say any bacteria because You'll never kill all the bacteria because we need some amount of bacteria. We need the good bacteria, but we want to kill the bad ones that are creating problems. And even that, saying that the bacteria is creating problem, the bacteria doesn't create the problem. The bacteria moves in to deal with the problem. That is the thing. We always think that the bacteria is the enemy. But the bacteria comes when it is necessary for it to do so. Because its job is to break down um, um, material that needs to be broken down. That is the job. That is, that's its chief job in this universe. In this world. In earth but um yeah that's straying a bit but yeah that those are some things you can do if you have dry mouth um try not to breathe through the mouth because really we aren't supposed to be breathing through the mouth as much as we think we should be breathing through the nostril and there's a reason for this because you know when you're taking air through the nostril um there, there's a mechanism there to filter the air that go that comes into the body and whereas there's not that filtration when you breathe through the mouth 
and in addition to that breathing through the mouth also dries out the um, dries the mouth more so if you have dry mouth try not to breathe through the mouth um, as much and it could also be a, an, an indication that you have issues or problems um, with the salivary glands so that's also something that might you might need to address and if you are dehydrated if it's as a result of that you're dehydrated and you go for long periods not drinking just bear in mind that once the mouth is dehydrated you will have bacteria build up because one of the 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 purpose of um, the saliva is also to protect the mouth and it does that um, because it has um, um, antibacterial properties the saliva has antibacterial properties if you're not drinking you won't be producing as much saliva as you need to and so you will um, likely experience bad breath and also bear in mind what you are doing um, at the moment if you are fasting or cleansing the body then you know you will be releasing toxins and so you will um, likely have bad breath so that is something to also consider and in general just practice good hygiene and you know get some tools check your mouth get something like this that you could use to you know check your teeth and see if there's anything wrong um, you know another tool like this that you could pick at anything that you need to um, remove from the mouth um, you want to do these things always um, you know brush your teeth too before going to bed and floss before going to bed these are some things you could do if you have impeccable hygiene and you are still experiencing problems then you have to go internally what is happening are you constipated do you have a sluggish digestion what is happening inside the body because what is happening inside the body could be affecting the order that is coming out of the body and so if 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 you find that you are constipated and you uh, you know especially if you're on a standard diet standard American diet or standard world diet I, I, well world diet but a diet the standard diet usually that is considered today is to be um, you know a diet rich with dairy um, um, starches processed starches and um, also you know animal um, protein if you are on this sort of diet and you're not mo moving your bowels regularly you're in trouble so detox the body get the bowels moving get the bowels clear detox the body you could use herbs also that will support the liver support the kidney help to cleanse the blood because you need to just do a total detox and even if you don't want to do herbs fine there are different things that you could do you could go on you know Mona diets for example the grape diet eat fruits go on a 30 day one of the best things that you could do for yourself is go on a 30 day raw food diet it would work wonders for you 30 days raw food diet and this would not only help to detox the body but also um, you know help to start repairing issues um, that um, are you know wrong such as probably the, the breakdown of glands and organs um, you know when we go to the very basic the very basic of it, of it the very basic of it is that you know um, everything we can if we look at everything at a cellular level just think of, think of it as you know what 
I'm going to cleanse, try to, I'm going to cleanse, I'm going to take on a cleanse that would support every single cell of my body and start cleaning out. And if you do that, you should see your bad breath issues disappear. Because when people usually have bad breath, you find that they also, the armpits sting. And, you know, it's never just one thing. And also, that is an indication that you have other serious issues, um, you know, that are probably developing. So this is something that you need to address ASAP. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!